Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Tanks and welcome back today to some more Tank Quest series and today I'm playing in the Matilda Black Prince. <sighs> Sorry before we get too much into the video guys, I need to make sure, I need to make sure, that sounds a bit, you must go vote! No, make sure you go vote down on uh, what tank you want me to play next down in the comments. Um, simply leave the um, name of the tank down in the comments that you want me to play, and I will play the most voted for tank next time. Just simply give the comments thumbs up that for the tanks you like the look of. Um, if you want a list of all of my tanks, which I've got in my garage currently at this precise moment in time, then there should be a um, link to a Google document down there as well, so just simply click through that. But today we are playing the Matilda Black Prince, which is a tank that I've only played about one game in, I think. It's one? Yeah, one game. Um, because this was the reward tank I got for going to Tank Fest this year. I got a little card, a little code on it, and I got Matilda Black Prince, and I was so happy. But, to be honest, I probably should be more happy about it, because I... I can train my Centurion Action Tank crew in it, because obviously I haven't got an FE4 Toy 2, I'd like one, but I'm not spending that much money on it at the minute. Um, so this is the only other um, British medium tank that you can train crew in, so, you know, uh, premium medium tank I meant to say. Um, yeah, so, yeah. Now, the gun on this tank is actually really, really good for tier 5. This is a tier 5 medium tank, by the way, premium medium tank, I should have probably pointed that out. It's a 6 pounder gun, 57mm, with a pretty good rate of fire, that's a very good rate of fire, and decent average damage with very good penetration, actually, for tier 5. Very similar to the Ram 2, um, 110 standard, which is very, very nice, and 180mm is a premium pen, which can reliably go through tier, most tier 7s, which is quite nice. 0.41 dispersion is absolutely atrocious, uh, but 2.3 seconds at the same time is not too shabby. This tank, in my configuration, has almost 33 rounds per minute, which is um, crazy. And that gives it a DPM of almost 2,500, which again, is pretty crazy. Um, other than that though, this tank is pretty shy. Whoever thought, ooh, let's have a 30 ton tank, I know, let's put a 190 horsepower engine in it. Not a good idea, guys. If any of you are thinking of making a tank, because you never know, um, don't put a 190 horsepower engine in a 30 ton tank. It doesn't go well. This tank has got a specific horsepower per ton of 6.24. I believe that is one of the worst, if not the worst, in the game. I can't actually think of anything with a worse horsepower per ton, which lets down everything else about the tank, pretty much. I mean, it's got awesome gun depression, 12 and a half degrees of gun depression. Holy moly bejesus. But, six horsepower per ton. Um, yeah. Uh, crew skills wise, pretty standard. Repairs, 100%. Uh, six cents. Uh, what's it called? Blah, blah, blah. Repairs, 100%. Tr swap out for brothers in arms. Repairs, 100%. Then go funky shits to improve view range, blah, blah, blah. But you're not going to be have a Matilda Black Prince crew anyway because. Hopefully it will be a British medium tank crew anyway. So I'm also running with premium consumable on this tank because it's tier 5 so I don't care. Um, a gun rammer because I had one spare. Vents because it's cheap. And binos because I'm not paying... Uh, I'm not using an enhanced gun laying drive on this thing. Which I probably would use if I was playing it properly properly. Or vents. Um, but I'm cheap and I've gone for binos instead. So yeah, that's everything you need to know about the Matilda Black Prince guys. Um... Please make sure you go down and vote on what tank you want me to s want to see me play next. The Leopard one was so close to winning this time. This thing had six votes, that had five, which was unfortunate because I don't quite like to play the Leopard one. But yeah, you can vote for any tank that I've got in my garage, guys. So head down and do that, and let's go get into some games. So, here we go, guys. First game in, and this is an okay matchup. We've um, got tier four tanks to fight against, tier five tanks, and a couple of tier six tanks at the top. So this should hopefully should be good. If this is a half decent game, I'm probably gonna only play one game in this tank because 6.24 horsepower per ton is painful. <laughs> um, and yeah, I really don't want to play this thing, but it got requested, so I'm playing it. 
And this tank doesn't actually carry a lot of rounds of ammunition. It really doesn't carry a lot of rounds of ammunition, considering how fast the rate of fire is. I mean, what did I say mine was? Almost 33 rounds per minute. So if I fired continuously for a minute, I would go through all but three of my AP rounds. Don't you dare shoot me. I know you're looking at me like that. My assistance has been requested. Well, has it really? Or my assistance is jolly well staying with me. Confronted? Look, you need a, a slight hill to get up to your 22 km per hour top speed. And if you lose momentum, then you just screw your in. Four years later. I'm gonna have a beard by the time we get into the town. Oh my god. Now the armor on this thing, in a tier 4 game, is pretty good. Especially against tier 3s, it's pretty good. But actually, I don't even know if tanks can meet tier 3s anymore. Tier 5s can meet tier 3s. I don't know if that's a thing. Matchmaker's changed so many times. Um, yeah. When you meet tier, tier 4s, especially, the armor's not too bad if you angle it. I mean, it's not great. Does this guy mind? Just fucking move. Well, we hit him two times out of three there. You saw the rate of fire, which is really, really nice. And the KV-1S just decided that um, that T-40 was not living. That KV-1S has got the, uh, what's it called? What's it called? What's it called? The 85mm? Is it the 85mm? Yeah, 85mm. I don't really want to fight him if I can help it, but I mean, I... Have I got the DPM? I think I've got the DPM over him. Oh, jeez. I need to get this guy out. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, he looks like he knows what he's doing. Kind of. Right, he's just fired. And get one. Oh, God. Come on. Oh, come on, DPM. No, 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 no. Ah, crap. That's not good. That's really not good. Right. Good. He's out. Oh! Snuck a second shot in there. This weather horsepower tone is crap. I'm getting another one. No, 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 no. Why me? Oh, we got team killed. <sighs> we were actually doing decent there. I can't believe that Hellcat shot me. That's just rude. Is the team going to win? That wasn't a bad game. I mean, it wasn't a great game, but it was not a bad game. Shoot, 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 shoot something in 3485M. Be the tier 6 tank, mate. Shoot the VK. Shoot the VK. Don't get shot by the VK, though. Oh, my Jesus. I'm going to have another nervous breakdown again, like in the Hellcat video. Oh, don't get killed by a Hetzer. Don't get killed by a Hetzer. Just shoot something! <laughs> oh, my God, he bounced off a Hetzer. Guys, this is bad for my mental health. Why do I do this to myself? This guy seems like he's doing alright. Oh, God. Um, um, um. Dudes. My dudes. You, you, you got peeps, mate. Shoot them. Yes. This guy knows what he's doing. Yes. No. Oh, God. Oh, God. Everybody I look at is just dying. Oh, that's his sneak scored. I'm only playing one game in this tank. I'm so sorry whoever suggested it, but I forgot how painful it is. I reckon we could have won that game if I didn't get team killed. Eh, maybe. If I wouldn't have taken the hit from the Hellcat. Oh god, don't drive into that. If I wouldn't have taken the hit from the Hellcat, I reckon we could have won this game. Because, I mean, that guy, no issue. That guy, no issue. That guy, hmm. Oh god. That guy, bit more of an issue. But hopefully with us still left alive, we could have helped our team not suck so much. He's dead. 
yeah, you, 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 he's got the 75 more, mate. You, you're not gonna last very well. No. Okay, right, we're gonna go to take a look at the post game stats because I can feel my blood pressure going up. Um, so yeah, let's go do that, and then who knows? So there we go, guys. We did okay. I mean, it wasn't great, but it wasn't terrible. We hit 17 out of 18 of the shots. We just unfortunately took a big hit from that Hellcat. What do I knock out? His engine? Yeah, his track. Finished top on damage, which isn't too bad. Oh, where is he? This guy was a good player, and he did 500 damage in that matchup for him. Who did he get killed by? Take Car Man. The ELCMX. Ouch. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, that was a very so-so game. But that's the Matilda Black Prince. It's a very so-so, not very good tank. Just, just, just that one stat just ruins everything. I mean, it's not fast. It's, it's not never gonna win any medals. But you could probably deal with the speed as long as you could actually go that fast. It's usually tanks like, oh, it goes 60, but it can't actually go that fast because it hasn't got quite got the horsepower per ton. This can't even go 22. So. Anyway, like I said before, guys, don't get too angry, Max. Your blood pressure is already high enough as it is for watching low-tier games. Um, so as I said before, guys, make sure you go vote on what tank you want me to play next. And yeah, other than that, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.